live any second. Everything you say is live. Hello, everyone. Am I framed up properly? Am I close? I don't know, but you smell good. You get a little closer. No, thank you. Don't be shy. <laughs> Uh, you are live. The internet can totally see you now. Okay, so hello everyone. Do you think they should be scared? Yep. I'm nice. No, they shouldn't be scared. This they should. Extreme. Hopefully, they'll say, "Wowzers! I never thought of that." You shed some light on or my whole say, financial problems. Or they'll All say, of my "I problems. already learned this from you before." <laughs> Either way, that's good news, right? You think? Mm-hmm. All right, so today we are talking about how you can save $3,500. Yes, I said 3500 with two more zeros after the period $3,500, $3,500. Dave, are we live on Facebook? So, well, I'm not finding anything on Facebook. Looks like we're having technical issues. Everyone else is talking on YouTube, so that must okay. mean we're live. Well, we're live on well, YouTube, but are we live on Facebook? Okay, so this is going to be a great show because anything that could go wrong did go wrong today. Looks like we might not be on YouTube. We're on YouTube. We're not on Facebook. Oh, we are on YouTube. Looks like we're not on Facebook. So give us a moment, everyone, please. Dining on a Dime cookbook. If you guys are watching and you want the Dining on a Dime cookbook, June 1st, we are raising our prices because we have to change our shipping. So. Should I stop it and start okay. it? Okay. Otherwise, so if you guys want wait, wait, hold on, it, grab it. Hold on, let me try one thing here. Shipping is going up $1.50 because we have to do priority instead of media mail now. Because media and, has turned into. A Post office gets to mess with it and destroy it. See, look at Dave's hair. That and shows priority the mail has changed to media mail. So see Dave's hair. That's the stress that we've had. Yeah. <laughs> Does it really look that bad? No, it was just. It was just funny. Um. Okay. So, um. Mike is trying to fix Facebook, guys. Sorry about that. If you're on YouTube, I'll talk to you guys for just a minute. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Who's saying howdy, howdy, howdy? No. Alderman Farms! Hello, our good friends. You might prompt the look. Get it together, people. So, Facebook just isn't the one to start. Oh, now it's starting. Okay, we're trying to get Facebook started here. Sorry about it. Yes, works. live captions. Isn't that crazy, Tommy and Patty? So, can you check and see if Facebook looks like Okay, let me see if Facebook has us on now. <clears throat> And now I'm having a hard time talking. This is going to be a great show. Anything that could go wrong did go wrong. <clears throat> so you know you're at the right so place. So <laughs> you know you, God has sent you here to hear a word from the Lord. Sure. <laughs> so, all right. <laughs> Preacher Tara. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to restart again here real quick for everybody Yay. on Facebook. We are going to talk about saving $3,500 today, this year. What? And it's one simple change. Just one. And um, it's in our Dining on a Dime cookbook on page four. On page four is where it is at. Now. Where what is? All right. What, what we're talking about today. So uh, oh. Dining on a Dime, we have right here. Dining on a Dime cookbook. By the way, if you're on Facebook joining us. Grab it before our shipping prices go up June 1st. I'm really sorry, not my fault. You can thank the post office for that one. We're eliminating the discount shipping and only going priority shipping so that they don't destroy all the books. <coughs> yes. Because we're on having more books than we would like. Yeah. Not getting where they're supposed we're to go. We're probably getting upwards of close to five to seven hundred dollars a month that the post office is destroying of our stuff. So anyway. That's why I got a fat. Diane Dime cookbook, grab it now. On page four, we have how to save $10,000 right here. We have been doing this for more than 20 years. And now, actually I noticed we're going to have to update our prices again because it's been so long. But Do you want me to share one of these posts? It is still not, pertinent. Not yet. All right, so here we go. Here's what started this show. You ready? Our How to Save on Groceries Facebook page, go check it out. 
Yes. Michael put the link in there. We got this comment. Wait, just one? <clears throat> oh, no. <laughs> this is the whole post before we shut off the comments. Okay? Let me just put it in perspective here. Oh, my. <laughs> Do I need okay. to clear out a space so you can pound the counter? Ow. Okay, yes. <laughs> All right. From Kara. I know I shouldn't post, the, post this, but this is so unfrugal. I don't go out in the mornings, but I did notice at our local Dunkin' Donuts that there were almost nine cars in line wrapped around the bid, building to get coffee. Do these people not know how to make coffee at their own houses? Oh, you're shaking the earth now. <laughs> yeah. Tremors originating in the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> coming all the way to Colorado and our ground is shaking, isn't it? Okay. So she started that. So she started that and she showed a picture of um, Dunkin' Donuts in there. Oh. And then we got this. This is what we got, guys, right here. All of this. Uh -oh. Before we cut off the comments and this was one hour's worth of comments. Wait, wow. are, those, are those other people's comments? One hour's worth of comments are before those... we shut them off. One hour. About, I had to shut them off. About the lady's story that she there can't... were nine cars in the coffee place. Do people not know how to make their own coffee? Her name's not up there, that's, so I wasn't going to show all of it. But... That's a very triggering thing. Wow. <laughs> that's a very triggering thing. Like, <laughs> all right, so... Christina said, I knew this post was going to be a show. <laughs> All right, so here's the thing. And if you guys like like it, please like, subscribe, and share. All right, here is the thing, guys. <gasps> no one knows how to be These were some of the comments we got. Heidi said, our wonderful assistant, I see those lines all day long, it seems. I have never driven by one Starbucks, one Dutch Bros, one Dunkin' Donuts, where there has not been a ridiculously long line that's, ever. Well, maybe one time. That's because for us, they're all go walk in restaurants. No, but I mean, I'm talking about the drive through ones. Not oh. the. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. <laughs> Leave it to Dave to play the devil's advocate. <laughs> Almost all of these. Things. But seriously. Uh, I, it's Dutch always... Bros. <laughs> the uh, captioning is not entirely perfect, I can see. <laughs> <laughs> so, um,. There, there is a long line. So here's some of the comments we got. Um, okay. So we got, um, if they want to spend their money, it's theirs, not yours. I like to save mine for rainy day, both of which are coming. Another gal, Casey. Think of all the people who would be out of a job if those people didn't get their coffee every morning. Whoa, man, don't even get me started on that one. Okay. Wait, wait, what? People will be oh. out of a job. People do what they want. How does it affect Wait, me whoa, whoa. anyway? I'm sorry, the people would be out of a job thing. Uh, what about those poor wagon wheel makers? I know. Well, we should all drive wagons so that the wagon wheel makers can have jobs. Thank you. <laughs> the Coopers making those big barrels all yep. day long. Yep. <laughs> there you go. Okay, Carrie, if I'm on a trip... And my travel mug is empty. I will grab a latte at the gas station. $1.50 and I'm good. Other places too expensive. Um, Aaron, sometimes I don't have time. I get it when I'm... Okay, here's the thing. Sometimes I don't have time. Okay. This was a big one. I don't have time. Do you guys know what the average wait time is at Starbucks? The average wait time at Starbucks is 4 minutes and 45 seconds basically five minutes. Do you know how long it takes to make coffee? Two minutes. Basically 30 seconds. You dump it in the coffee maker, you walk off, you get dressed, and you come back. Don't give me none of that time baloney, people. I'm going to discuss this further, but next. Um, okay, this, okay, this was the one that put me over the edge. This was the one that put me over the edge. If I'm out and about early in the morning, then I'll stop for coffee. With two oh, 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 kids right. and crazy errands and a hectic schedule, sometimes I don't have time to make coffee before I leave the house. Remember, the average person waits five minutes at Starbucks. 
And you can't get half the flavors at home that you can at Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts. Okay. Heidi said, coffee takes less than five minutes to make. This other gal said, yes, and sometimes I don't have that. Remember, it takes five minutes to wait in line at Starbucks. My twins keep me running, and so does my dialysis and appointments in between. Okay, I get it. You're sick. I am too. Been there, done that. I don't know what kind of zippy coffee maker you have, but to brew a pot of coffee at my house, it takes 12 minutes. Just 12 saying. minutes? You, you need to get a new coffee maker, I was Mallory. Say, that's like campfire. You need a new cooking. coffee maker. <laughs> Whoa, I thought you were just doing Okay, Heidi. She has a regular four cup, um, but it takes her 12 minutes to get dressed and pack lunches, okay? Um, the gal who said that she doesn't have time. I have a two cup, and it still takes longer than five minutes. It's not programmable. Who cares if it's not programmable? It takes 30 seconds to dump coffee and water in the pot, people. Seriously. Why is it? Okay, here's, here's what put me over the edge. She's saying this because I do it. Yes. <laughs> I do it and it's fast. Why is it such a big deal to buy a cup of coffee from Dunkin' Donuts once in a while? Some people have hectic lives and just don't have the time every morning to make coffee before leaving their house. Even with alarms and routines, Blank still happens. Actually, I am livid. <laughs> Blank as in like And I will tell you why I'm livid. Wow. This same lady yesterday, or day before yesterday, posted how she's on food stamps and she cannot buy enough groceries on food stamps to feed her family. Do not... Give me that baloney that you don't have time to make coffee at home when you are on food stamps and not able to pay your bills. My business. You come to me asking me how you're going to pay your grocery bill because you can't pay it all with your food stamps. And then you're telling me what's the big deal? I get a coffee every single day. Every day? Every day. What? Every single day. Like, like five bucks a day? Yes. Wow. $3,500 a year this woman is spending on coffee. And then she comes to me and says, how do I pay for my groceries? I can't afford it on food stamps. First of all, if you're on food stamps, you don't need to be going out and getting coffee every day. I have no problem if you want to go out for a special treat, Mother's Day, your birthday, your anniversary, that's fine. Every day, I don't care how tired you are, I don't care what your medical condition is. There is no excuse, for zero, for not taking two minutes to put some coffee in the coffee maker first thing when you wake up in the morning and go in and get dressed. Now, I have been on food stamps briefly when I was a child, and I get it. But you use that opportunity, instead of buying a bunch of junk food, to stock up on food so that when you're not on food stamps, you can make it and propel yourself off and get moving in a positive direction. I have nothing against people who are on food stamps. I understand you need those sometimes. I have no problem with that. My problem is when you're on food stamps and you're getting a coffee every day, I have a big problem. I have a major big problem. Then don't come whining to me when you cannot buy groceries. You're drinking your kids' groceries. You are drinking your kids' groceries and you're peeing it down the toilet. Literally. You had might as well take $3,500, put it in that toilet, and flush it. Now. Why do you even drink coffee? Why don't you just drink water? That, I am sorry. I have no patience with that. Now. <clears throat> okay. That comment taken care of. Well, one one thing I, we should say too is, if I think Taurus, all you're you're speaking to people who are complaining about not having enough money for groceries and buying coffee a lot, 
right? Right. And some people say once in a while, and once in a while is fine if you're once in a while. Well, if you're once having trouble with your finances, but once in a while you say, "Oh well, I have a little extra, and everything's covered right now." Uh, but you know, if if you have a lot of money and you don't really care how your money is being spent, then go ahead and get it every day. I ha you're giving away the rest of my show. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, so got that off my chest. Now, Casey, here in my city, Starbucks has a 30 minute wait time. Are you kidding me? You are spending two and a half hours a week getting coffee if you go five days a week? Two and a half hours, and you don't have time to make coffee at home? Yeah. Wait, Don't Alderman give me Alderman Pharmacist, tell us what you really think, Tara. You need to learn how to speak openly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so Heidi said, Casey, you just spent 182 hours a year at 30 minutes waiting for coffee. <gasps> a hundred and... That's like four weeks. A year. A month. That reminds me of the drive through at Taco Bell over yes! in Longmont. There's like 14 cars in line. I think every day. I'm gonna have a stroke. I need to calm down. Okay. <laughs> and now, um, the next one. Steph, the coffee maker doesn't get hot enough. I figure if I had any other bad habit, it would cost more. No, that is not an excuse. You go well, buy it yourself. An this is not a good one. You go buy yourself a percolator, and you make coffee with a percolator. That's no excuse at all. Okay, next. Um, all right, several people said they set up their coffee maker the night before, blah, blah, blah. Do you guys realize if you went and bought even a $40 coffee maker, my coffee ma maker cost five bucks at the thrift store. And, and it makes coffee in less than two minutes. Yeah. And it's easy and... And it's easy, yeah. If you spent 40 bucks on a programmable coffee maker... That is one week's worth of coffee. One week. That's a if you go seven coffee, days, right? one week worth of coffee. You would have that thing paid off in one week. So don't give me that. All right. Here's another one. Nancy says, I don't like coffee. Just look at the money I've saved over the years. Very good, Nancy. My first coffee of the day is always made at home. But if I'm super busy, I will absolutely enjoy our coffee with no guilt. With three kids, the youngest being six months, just having gone back to work, plus school activities for the older two, life gets crazy, and an amazing make, cup of coffee made for me is just the thing to keep my brain working. Um, it's actually a mind thing. Coffee tastes the same, made at home. People think they're getting something better when, <clears throat> than when they purchase coffee at the shop. Um, I just don't understand why people spend three to five dollars for a, coffee, a cup of coffee. I totally agree. Excuse me, set up your coffee maker the night before and have it ready when you wake up. Exactly. Lots of people are saying that. Don't give me this baloney that you don't have all the flavors either. But even though we don't have a programmable one, but it takes me 15 minutes to get ready to take Dave to school. So I get up, I go start it. It's done in two minutes, but I still go in the other room, get ready, come back here and pour it and take it when I go. Exactly. It's ridiculous. Okay, um... Let's see. Okay, several others are agreeing. Now, here's one from our famous bandana grandma. And she says, um, whoops, where'd it go? Oh, I lost it. Well, I'm going to paraphrase because I lost what she said. Um, she said something to the effect of, my husband loves to go get a cup of coffee every day. It's a social thing for him. Okay, Julie, I'm going to touch on that. Juliana's on. <laughs> oh, hello, Dirt Patch. Oh, you picked a good show to get on. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Uh, I take coffees on my road trips. Even my grandma would not buy coffee on the road trip, but she would still have her coffee on the road trip. And I'm going to tell you about that too. Okay, now here's where it starts getting good. How dare you judge those people? Um, I can't believe you're being so judgmental. You don't go around the store saying, well, look what's in their grocery basket. Judgmental. Oh, when people <clears throat> yeah. say that, that's an excuse. Okay. Totally an excuse. Uh, my only concern is how do they function enough to get dressed and drive without coffee? I must have mine within a few minutes of waking up. I totally get it. 
All right. Um, let's see. How do you know those people are actually getting coffee? Maybe they're getting donuts. Okay. Because uh, <laughs> that's just as... Because that's better. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. They could okay. You don't know why they are there. My daughter and her husband take our grandson there. He's sick with a rare condition to give him a treat after his treatments. Okay, another how are you judging? Um, another, how do you know they're not getting donuts? How do you not get, know they're getting donuts? Okay, huge argument on how are you not getting well, donuts. Well, and donuts again, once in a while, that's probably all right. But every day, <laughs> okay. if you're having financial problems, yeah. Um... Many in the morning, uh, let's see. Okay, they're same thing, same thing, same thing. Okay, so basically the rest of them are a big fight about how dare you be so judgmental. And because people want to justify the fact that they're saying they have grocery troubles, but they want to spend a lot of money on coffee. So here's how, why I can be judgmental and why it's okay. Because you come to me asking me how to save money on your grocery bill. Joining our group. And you join our groups and you ask for my advice and I give it to you and then you go out and spend a ton of money on coffee. Now, let me give you a little facts here. If you spend just $5 and most people that email me say they're spending $8 on coffee and even in Colorado $10 is an average cup of coffee now at my daughter's old coffee shop. It's ridiculous. $5. If you invested that money between the ages of 25 and 65 for one coffee a day, that's $817,000. You know for how much time? Between the ages of 25 and 65. Wow. And you don't have money for retirement. If you buy cheap gas station coffee, $245,000. The average American, or eight out of 10 Americans, say they are living paycheck to paycheck. Now, here's my thing. How many Americans say that? Eight out of 10. Wow. Here's the thing. You cannot tell me that every single person going through these coffee shops has their finances in order, that they sh should be okay in just getting the coffee. They don't have their finances in order. That's the problem. Our friend Bandana Grandma, her husband, who goes gets a cup of, cup cup of coffee with his friends every day, they have their finances in order. If you have your finances in order, I you spend it on whatever you want. I don't care if your house is paid off, you have no credit card bills and you have no car loans, go for it. Absolutely, you spend it. I don't care if you buy a coffee 10 times a day. If you have it and you choose to And do you that. want to do that, that's fine. If it's a treat for your kids, every time my kids would go get a shot at the doctor, I would give them a donut as a reward for sucking for it up at the doctor. <laughs> I'm not talking about those kinds of people, but I will say, if like three quarters of this was people saying, don't judge, why are you even commenting on this if you don't have a problem with something? Usually when you're having to comment on something like this, you're guilty of something. And I will well, tell you. You're, mean, you're meaning if you feel like you're, you're, you're defensive on an issue, you probably know in your heart that's an issue. Exactly. Because I will tell you, when I sit and watch Dr. Phil, well, I don't anymore, but years ago before he turned crazy. But anyway, year, 10 years ago when, when I would watch Dr. Phil and when I would watch Susie Orman or listen to Dave Ramsey or whoever, uh, Mary Hunt, you know, Money Saving Mo Mom, any of those people. When they would talk about stop eating out on coffee, I felt no need to go and defend myself and say how they were being judgmental. Do you know why? Because our finances are in order and we don't go out to eat every day and we don't go get coffee every day because we are responsible with our money. If you're sitting here saying, don't be judgmental, you've got something that you are feeling guilty about and you need to deal with and fix. Hey, Dad. Well, oh. and if we all have things like that that we kind of make excuses for, and if you 
can realize, man, this is holding me back. You can have, what is it, $884,000? Yes, $884,000. It's ridiculous. The average American loan, American auto loan, $27,000 for your cars, people. Seriously? Student loan debt. The average student loan is $47,000. Thank you, Heidi, for getting me these statistics, by the way. Man, I can't believe how much I heard that people were in a massive amount of student loan debt, but whoa, I, why? I know. <laughs> well, get this. The average time lost waiting at Starbucks, 27 hours a year. Wow. So I'm just well, curious. I don't want to change oh, yeah. the subject, but what, there's a Taco Bell in Longmont, the town that's pretty close to us, and... We noticed there's a drive through that once you get in, you can't get out. There are curbs that keep you locked into it. And there'll be 14 or 15 cars there every time All we drive time. by. All and the time. One time I just walked into that Taco Bell and it took like 10 minutes to get served. And I was thinking, what if you're the third, 14th car in line in the drive through You're stuck. It's ridiculous. Yes, Dave? Um, Just curious, Dad. How many ounces do you use to make one cup of coffee? Do you know? <gasps> I don't know. Vanessa it's says... I don't know. Vanessa says, oh my, it. finally caught a live show. Glad you're here, Vanessa. Yay. Okay. Now, the next. Now, this is, okay, this really makes me angry. Very angry. Four billion Starbucks cups Whoa. are thrown away each year. Why does that make you angry? One million trees are cut down to produce paper cups a year. 27 gallons of gas are wasted while idling, waiting for your Starbucks coffee for $67 in gas, waiting for your Starbucks. Now, do you know why it makes me angry, these statistics? Why? Especially the 4 billion Starbucks cups thrown away each year. Why? How many of these people are environmentalists and they're going on and on and on about how we need to save the environment and all this. And Let's Mike has- the cups. Mike has a perfect example of this. Go for it, dear. You tell him. So Mike, <laughs> Mike carries like a plastic cup like this all the time. And See, look, it's all that one's actually on in pretty side. good shape. But <clears throat> I used to work at a TV station with some people that were super, super concerned about the environment. <clears throat> and you know, I'm all for not polluting things, but I don't feel like the whole earth is going to be destroyed because you know, people are living their lives. But these people were very, very serious about, uh, you absolutely have to do this or that, or the whole earth is gonna explode and we're all gonna die and it's gonna kill all the animals everywhere. And I would carry this cup and we would go down to a convenience store and get coffee every day. Well, they would get coffee, I would get tea. I say every day. It was like in the summertime in Wichita, it was like, what, 50 cents or mm -hmm. something like that. Um, and I, we, we would get that, not every day, but it was fairly frequently. Um, and I would take my cup in there. Actually, it was less than 50 cents because I had my cup. Yep. They gave me a discount for having a reused cup. It was like 25 cents or something. But my friends would buy coffees, like fancy coffees in foam cups <laughs> every day and throw it away. But while they were doing that, they were like, oh, look at Kellum. He's always there using that beat up old cup. <laughs> and I was thinking, if you really believe what you say, because they were preaching and preaching and preaching about how we have to save the environment. Global thinking, warming baloney this, global warming baloney that. I was thinking that. if you really believe what you say, wouldn't you be reusing a cup like this too? <laughs> and and so. that, makes, that makes me so mad. If you are going to preach something like saving the environment, then you need to be practicing what you're preaching. Seriously. There's no excuses. There is absolutely no excuse for anybody to not be able to take two minutes to make a cup of coffee at home. Now, yes? Uh, do you want to... Some people are saying... Um, actually, Kayla has it kind of great. At first I was wondering where she was going with it, but she says, you do realize a lot of a latte or cappuccino is not the same as a cup of black coffee. Many people go to Starbucks for those. Not many people have machines equipped for that. And she says that Keurig is headed that way. But then she says, but if you're lacking money, then it's time to give those things up. And that's the point. The thing is, most of the coffees that they sell could be made at home in a short amount of time. 
um, <laughs> for a lot cheaper, but you have to learn how to do it. You have to yeah. spend a little bit of time to learn how to do it, and then after that, it's it's not hard. And people just don't want to learn how to do it or take the time. And that's funny thing is because really the people that work at places like that, they don't have a, like a magic coffee machine somewhere. I mean, they have nicer coffee machines, but the Ellie's worked at two coffee yeah. shops, and they they use the same kind of. I mean, they they are some of the machines are faster or better in some ways. But basically, they use the same recipes for coffee any of us can get. Yeah. And we can make them in regular machines, yeah. mostly. I mean, some things like the <clears throat> foam, frothy foam stuff. But the thing is, if you're having financial trouble, <laughs> maybe it isn't worth doing that every day. No, it's not. Especially if you're going to come to me and gripe and complain about how you can't pay your bills. So you need to get it together, people. Now, here's the thing. Because... We don't just sit here and lecture you. We actually give you solutions. We have on our website 10 easy gourmet coffee recipes. A lot of these, several of them are in our Dining on a Dime cookbook right oh. here. And I'm going to make up two of them for you. There were some comments. Um, Gloria, was, <clears throat> she says, uh, she said something earlier. She says, I make my own coffee daily when we go on a road trip. I occasionally buy coffee on the run. Let me tell you, though, McDonald's has really good tasting coffee, and it's hot. What a savings. I discovered where in, where in the town where I spend much of my day, um, occasionally I'll go have coffee with the old farmer guys, and I don't really... Um, I, I don't go buy the coffee very often, but, but when I'm with them, with them, I do. But I've discovered that the, I've occasionally once or twice bought coffee, just regular coffee, like for a dollar or something at the Starbucks at the King Su or at the for Kroger store. And what I've discovered is the McDonald's coffee is better, <laughs> it tastes better. And I'm not dissing Starbucks. I'm just saying, why spend a lot more money? Because they have an image of being fancier. Well, but, and if it's the taste... So when she says McDonald's, I, I yeah. think that's fine. And when I Googled, I Googled how to make Starbucks coffees. Guys, there are instructions on Starbucks coffees. It's something like two tablespoons of coffee grounds to six ounces of coffee or something like that. I Just Google it. But stop making excuses. The thing is, here is the entire point. And we're going to Kansas two weeks from yesterday. In 13 days, we're going to Kansas, and Mom and I are going to do a video on this. But the whole entire point of this whole thing is you are not going to get out of debt if you do not stop spending. Stop trying to save money and just stop spending money. Let Actually, me repeat that. Stop trying to save money and just stop spending it. You want to know what I mean by that? What I mean is we don't go out to eat all the time. My kids don't play $3,000 for football or $4,000 for cheerleading. We don't pay for cable. No way am I paying 180 no. bucks for a bunch of baloney on TV. If you're some millionaire, and you know you got all the money in the world. Go ahead, <laughs> knock yourself out, enjoy life, have well, fun. Well, even if you're not a millionaire, if you just, if you have the money. Well, yeah, if you have It's you, totally if fine. You have the money, but. We do not drive new cars. We drive used cars that are in fairly good condition for $3,000 or so. We don't have $27,000 car loan. Stop spending money. If you cannot pay cash for it, you cannot afford it. Period. Most of the people that <clears throat> we know who get the coffee every day, they're, they are making minimum payments on their house mortgages and saying that... Yeah. They, that minimum payments on their credit cards, minimum payments on their car loans. And the thing is that if you're in, if you're in a massive amount of debt for things like that, you're a slave. You're, you're, you're voluntarily, voluntarily being a slave. And if you decide not to be going to be years to pay it off if you get yourself in too hard yeah so while you're spending money on things that you can't necessarily afford right now you're not spending money on the things that are more important and as far as go as everyone's saying oh but you can't those ex, those cappuccino latte machines are really expensive you can't afford them don't give me that baloney 
Go, go get one store. and at the thrift store i see them there every single time i go to the thrift store Any there are cappuccino store. espresso latte whatever machines you want to get 10 bucks but i can tell you this i find it amazing that you can afford five to ten dollars on a cup of coffee but you can't afford a 150 fifty dollar machine to pay for it in the first month of use that would be 10 days worth of coffees at $10 for a $100 machine. Do the math, people. Come on, stop being lazy. So one person is unclear as to when we're going to talk about the $3,500. So, so I think maybe okay, we should explain so what here's that's the reference point. to. So I had a lady email me the other day, and she was like, well, I don't understand how I'm supposed to pay off my bills. So I emailed her back and forth a couple of times. Come to find out she was getting a coffee every single day. She was spending $3,500 a year. Right here, Dining on a Dime Cookbook on page four. Now we have the coffee prices from 2009. So this is almost 10 years later and they are doubled. So if you get one gourmet coffee at $7, one a day, that's $3,000. That does not include the gas spent and your time spent. So if you average those things up, it's about $3,500 a year. I had a lady email me a couple of weeks, I don't know, a month or so ago. She was getting three of them a day. That is $10,000 a year. $10,000 a year for coffee. And you can't afford to pay cash for a car? Right there's your car, right there. One year's worth of coffee. One. It's ridiculous. <laughs> um. I feel my inner self calming. No, seriously, here's the problem, guys. We have people every single day, and I mean every stinking day. Email us, comment whatever message us with Whoa. these problems and then come to find out they confess that they're doing stuff like this you are not going to save money until you just stop spending it so, uh, oh hey cindy's got a good question okay what else can we save on i don't drink coffee huh do we have an actual article about that right here dining on a dime cookbook so and i'm also sharing a link to that article on our website eating out <laughs> if you eat out a dinner for a family of four at 30 dollars, which is really cheap now this was 2009 prices, $1,500 a year. Pizza delivered, $20. This is really cheap now. BJ said the average person spends $40 on pizza when he does it now. $2,000 a year on delivered pizza. Potato chips. If you spend $3 a bag, it's $155 a year. A six pack of soda. If you spend $2, that was in 2009. Now it's more than that. Now it's like $350. That's um, about at the movies. three hundred dollars popcorn at the movies. We like There's popcorn 20 at bucks the movies, right there. But man, it's so expensive, and yeah. we'll see families where, like, the dad will have a giant popcorn, and the kids will have all the little popcorn separate things with the little drinks and everything. And I know they spent like one hundred fifty dollars to go to the movies. It's me ridiculous. And, for four people. Me and Ellie went to the movies the other day, and we were watching a three D movie, and it was fifteen bucks for each ticket. I think it was fifteen bucks. Bucks I forgot. <clears throat> And we did get popcorn, you know, just saying, you know, we saved up money to do that because we haven't had popcorn for like two months now or something. But um, the popcorn was seven seventy five for a large refill, which most people get. But um, you if, you got it, probably. It, if you got it with a drink, it was 12 something, which is crazy. So what we do is we get a popcorn and it has free refills and we just split it. But every time we go to the movie, I have not seen one person, one family, split it. Split it. I have never well, seen a family split it ever. And I think a lot of the families will go three times a week to the movies, and you know, I'm not saying you can't go if you can afford it. But man, if you're having trouble making your bills, maybe you should cut that back a little bit. Yeah. Cause... Well, and here's some solutions. Okay. So what are some solutions? My grandma never bought coffee hardly ever. They would go on road trips and she never bought coffee. What would she do? She brought a little travel percolator 
and she would plug it into the um, car cigarette lighter and she would make coffee on the road every single time. So she would make her coffee and have a donut. She spent 20 bucks on this little thing and she used it for like 30 years. <clears throat> make your own coffee at home. If you want Starbucks coffee, Google it. It's super simple. Go to livingonadime.com. We have some great gourmet coffee recipes and I'm gonna make a couple up and I'll show you really quick how easy these are. Oh, hey, uh, somebody made a point about movie theaters, which is true. KHC, movie theater concessions are so expensive because that's where they make their money, not the ticket sales. That's true. And I don't fault them for trying to make money where they can. But what I think is when people spend $20 on literally five to 10 cents worth of popcorn, I think that the buyers are not being responsible for their finances. And well, you know, it's yeah. fine if it's like a special occasion and because we don't get popcorn every time we go, but occasionally we will. And we'll usually get the one that's refillable even though it's expensive. Um, but we're also not in a dire desperate situation. And we just noticed that so many people get buy it all the time. And if for your personal finances, it's not that wise of a choice. And in fact, actually I was thinking, somebody here was saying, who was it that said it? Let me look back. Um, well, and one more thing, you don't have to feel bad for the movie theaters because they have thousands of other customers going there constantly buying popcorn well, too. Well, sadly, it's not, like, it's not, it's not your responsibility to support, to, to make well, it's, business, it's funny because, their business. But I mean, you know, well, we had a friend who was doing business with a company and she was a supplier for this company and she, she, they were totally, she was totally upside down because she wasn't charging them enough. But she said, I, oh yeah, but if I leave, what are they going to do with their business? And I was thinking that's, that's their responsibility, not your responsibility. Yeah. And it's the same thing with the theater. Where was it? Somebody said, uh, maybe I'll have to paraphrase if I can't find it. Yeah, somebody was talking about um, loving. S oh, Brenda, I'm sorry. I love Starbucks, and I can't, and I can fit it into my budget, and I'm not in debt at all. All my houses and cars are all paid Go off. Go for it. Oh, she's that's not. That's fine. That's fine. But somebody else was saying that they love Starbucks, but but because they um, and they can also fit it into their budget, and they said, but they choose not to because they want to. They don't feel like it's worth spending that much money on a car. And you know. Okay, I'm gonna play the it's guilty. It's totally fine if you can spend, if you can afford it, and every, yeah, it's totally. And I'm gonna play the guilt card here a little bit. Just on top. <laughs> I'm gonna play the guilt card here a little bit, but you know, think of how many people you could help with that amount of money. Really, just think about that. I, if you have the money, that's fine. But really, you know, I don't have a problem if you're spending a dollar fifty or whatever. But when you're spending thirty dollars a day, like the one lady who emailed me on coffee, thirty dollars a day? Yeah, she was spending thirty dollars a day. That's a lot of coffee. <laughs> Even it at was ridiculous. Prices. <laughs> you know, just think about those things. Okay, so I'm gonna make the Cafe Vienna mix real quick, right here. Dining on a Dime Cookbook, page three forty three. Super easy, and Mike's gonna try it because he's woo. Esther says it's all about priorities. Period. Debt free is my priority. I will cut any corner to stay out of debt. It is. You know what we found out though? I totally agree with you, and we've done that. And even now, we've we've we're kind of changing our spending to be more conservative than we had in a while. Because the thing is, we don't really necessarily have to. At this point, we're not. We've been really tight and close to the wire and unable to pay every bill, and that was really hard. But now we've, we're out of all that debt, things have been going okay, um, but we just suddenly thought the other day, you know what, we really want to have the house paid off, and it's mostly paid off. Um, but we've started deciding, you know, we're going to cut back some things to pay that off, and where was I going with that? Um, priorities. But the priorities, when we were, when we were in really desperate situation, we didn't spend anything on anything that was optional. And in Colorado where we are, people think it's my right to have this, I deserve to have this, so much so that they will buy themselves a lot of things, but, but their kids end up not having what they need because they're buying themselves things. And on the, prior, on the priorities, if you're in debt, true, but what we've discovered is most people that we've talked to 
here and a lot of people on our channel don't we get talking to them about debt and they say they want to be out of debt and everything and what I eventually realize is they don't really want to be out of debt they want to figure out how to manage the debt and leverage it to squeeze every little bit of equity out of everything and if if that's kind of if you think that way um, eventually you're gonna have absolutely nothing and you won't be able to have all that stuff because you know as you get older um, if you haven't set aside anything or you don't have any plans and you haven't paid off your house you're not gonna have any money for anything and so you're like consuming everything now that's for later in your life mm -hmm. so yeah the priorities are really important and I, I would say great to get totally out of debt and even though we've said only our house has a mortgage never and even though it's not very much on the mortgage now we've just suddenly had this kind of burden to say we need to get this paid off like right now probably because i'm gonna have a stroke <laughs> well and the one thing is at, in the last few years our outflow for kids and other things related to kids and court and stuff like that has been pretty high and medical bills has been pretty high but uh so at the time we weren't thinking too much about the mortgage but now we're thinking yeah let's get that paid off completely um, so yeah. Okay. So here's the thing. So the whole moral of the story guys is I don't care how you spend your money, but if you're going to come to me whining about how you can't pay your bills, I'm going to tell you the truth and I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. That's the truth. Okay. Cafe Vienna mix right here. Instant coffee, non-fat dry milk, sugar, Simply Joyful said you forgot to mention that there's a tip jar at Starbucks too. Oh my goodness. That, no, don't even give me start on that. Okay. Cinnamon. Ooh, Lost Control uh, is I, I, responding to somebody and I didn't hear what the other person said, but Lost Control says you need to figure out why spending makes you happy because that's the case for a mm -hmm. lot of people. Yeah. Why do, what does it do for you? You need yeah. to do something else, go for a walk, volunteer somewhere, find other ways to feel good. I would say that most people spend not because they want something, like with coffee. They don't really need a pick me up, not really thirsty, nothing that really a drink would do. It's more of a, I just feel good doing it. Yeah. But I think a lot of that, I was telling Tara we need to do a separate show on this, but I think people don't realize how suggestible we all are and how commercials and television and news and movies and things make, influence your attitude so you feel like your life is less without these things. But that's intentionally manipulating from the point of the, the commercials. And I don't yeah. blame companies for wanting to sell their product, but a lot of people believe that they need stuff they don't need because the commercials tell them that. Yeah. Okay, now you can put dried orange peel in here, but I don't have any, so I'm gonna put, oops, that's a little bit more than I wanted. I'm gonna put about four drops of orange extract. Dave, can you hand me a um, coffee cup for dad? Get one of dad's. Okay, so then you can blend this in a blender, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to bust your eardrums. Now, these recipes are free on, on the third shelf. These recipes are free on our website. All right, so we're going to have Mike test this. I don't drink coffee. <clears throat> I only drink well, water now. <laughs> I'm a tea drinker. Okay, so then two teaspoons. So that's about two teaspoons right there. Oh, by the way, everyone is just loving your, your tub. Oh, thank you. And they're saying it's beautiful, it's lovely, you look great. And some thank people are asking, where did, where, do you, where did you get it? I got it, Kohl's. Nice. Gotta love Kohl's. Well, okay, I don't love Kohl's actually. They irritate me. I'm not going to get started on it because I don't want to have a stroke, but I didn't know where else to go, so I went to Kohl's. Okay. Is that strong enough? I don't know if this is strong enough. It may be too hot. What is it? Cafe Vienna. Does it have sugar in it? It does have sugar in it. Or Splenda or something? Yes. It has <gasps> sugar. I drink Splenda. <gasps> oh man, that's really good. See? Was there? I didn't. And he's telling to the truth too, because I can tell I when he's doesn't like it. You put cinnamon in it. Oh man, cinnamon it makes the world go round. <laughs> now see, instant coffee right here, super yummy. We'll let it cool but down. But it's too hot. So for the people that say it's not hot enough, <laughs> this is so there you go. That didn't even take me what a minute to make. 
On the note of it's saving delicious. money, should I do I dare show them this? On the <laughs> okay, so while I'm getting my soap and um, clearing here, Dave wants to show you his new toy, which, by the way, he paid for himself by working to save up the money. Oh, okay. Don says I'm working on that, not spending. Then I get in a bad mood and go buy junk food to cure my blues. Sorry. I am totally oh, with you. Yeah, I have done that before, and but I've realized that I still struggle. <laughs> Because when I stress, I want to eat, which is not good. But um, but what I found when I'm successful at it is trying to short circuit it to something else that helps me change that mood quickly. But that's not bad for me. <laughs> okay. Hello, peeps. Yeah, all my fan base on YouTube. I got a new camera. Oh, oh, sorry, one other thing. Oh man. Um, as far as the short circuiting thing, I don't know what your thing would be. For me, I have a music playlist of songs that I love, and I go play that music playlist, and it really encourages me. But uh, I would say anything you can do to procrastinate actually taking the action of eating that or buying that thing, like maybe I'll wait five minutes and go take care of this really quick, and I'll do that, and after not very long, that thought will subside. You're finished yet. Go ahead. Okay. My fan base on YouTube got a new camera for vlogging mainly. Well, I think vlogging. I don't know, but yeah, I will probably start vlogging soon. And I thought it looks pretty cool. I mean, it's got. Hold up, let me put on the lens. Hold up, this will take like two seconds. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Amanda said, "Hey, just real life adulting." LOL. <laughs> Check this. Yeah. Out. Oh, simply Dude, joyful's right. Boy. Credit cards really borrowed boy. money. Mm -hmm. Do you hear this? Oh, sorry. Oh, I, saying, I don't mean yeah. to interrupt, but let me just say one thing. <sighs> Simply Joyful saying credit cards is really borrowed money. When oh. we were in debt and I was trying you to motivate myself, I realized when you have credit cards, you're <clears throat> stealing from yourself in the future if you carry them. I mean, if you pay them off every month, it's not the same. But like, if you borrow money, to, if you carry a balance on your credit card, then when you pay for that coffee, when it's finally paid off with all the interest, you pay a lot more. Than the actual price of the coffee if you're paying interest on your card so just keep that in mind okay just saying i am ready to start vlogging with this pretty cool bad thing. boy yeah it's got an awesome zoom lens so you know that's good um dave's my new so, soap yeah, picture taker for i the... take all her soap pictures yes. and i was thinking about doing thumbnails soon mm -hmm. so yeah so he worked his buns off and saved up the money you ever need product pictures yeah you know, you if you need product pictures over. dave's your man go check out my etsy store he's he's uh, not all the pictures on there yet are his but the newest ones he's the ones that look on good <laughs> are mine <laughs> <laughs> that's funny okay so i was gonna show you guys i made some soap yesterday got some new gun ones right here I don't know if these are too soft yet or not. Let's see. Mm, they're oh, a little Shore, soft. Shoreline Knit says, thank you for the free coffee recipes. Gave up coffee shops years ago to save money. I will enjoy trying these recipes. Yay! Thank you and God bless, Deborah. Okay, so these are still a little soft, so I'm going to wait and not unmold those. But there's my guns. And then here's my guns. Can you guys see that? Right there. I'm going to reshare the coffee recipes again. And if you, if you don't see these links, you can, as usual, go to livingofdime.com, click on show notes, and the links are right there. Yep. Here's, I made more unicorns. These will be for sale in a little while. I didn't put them up today because I have to see how many orders I have to fulfill first. Because I had a batch fail. Aren't they cute? They are super cute. Aren't those cute? Oh, one of those unicorns made it into my room the other day, or in the office. Yeah, um, I know. I, I was one short. It's in my room. Yeah, I was playing with it. <laughs> I was going to say, is it not my room too? Okay, and then I'm going to cut my acne and my my rainbow here. Oh, Jen super chat at $9.99. Thank you, Jen. Oh, what? thank you, Jen. We appreciate that. Wow. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay. So here is, I had leftover soap for my unicorns because I put the wrong recipe in, put the wrong ounces in, and let us... Jane says, Dave, that she likes your confidence in your work. Yes. Yeah, I'm 10 out of 10. Actually, he does really good it. pictures. Hi. He does, really. Can you believe this time oh. in two weeks we're going to be at Nan's wow. house? If I had pictures on here, Listen to this before you do that. Arlene says, Dave has a knack for photos. I bought soaps because they look so cute. <gasps> Thank you. 
Ew. They were cute, but Dave really... Dave is... Yep, Dave's my new picture taker. Okay, so here is my leftover, and I tested... Whoa, is that a soft soap? It's cutting really, really easy. Not too soft. It's just a really good cutter. Okay, so I tested my sprinkles inside. Ooh, oops. Well, that's pretty. Oh, my. Oh, except I should have done the acne one first. Hmm, well, the blue sprinkles kind of... I was doing an experiment trying the sprinkles inside the soap, so these will probably be samples that I'll give out. Yes. Um, oh. yeah. Colette says, I quit smoking last month and I'm saving lots of money. Awesome. Good, Good job. job. You, and you seriously are saving lots of money. There you go. Okay. that's Those are beautiful. Okay. So there's my rainbow samples that we're going to have. And I did this wrong. I shouldn't have cut my rainbow soap first. I should have cut my acne soap first. All right. So let me wipe it down here and get my sprinkles out. Boop, de -doop, de -doop. Oh, Cindy, the camera's down because Tara is demonstrating something. I'm showing my soap here this. real quick. But we will turn oh, it back wait. up when she's... Wait, did you hold up the soap bar? Yeah, but I think... Oh, Sharon said you were holding down. the soap higher than the camera. Oh, hold on, guys. I'll show you just a second. Yeah, I just realized that. Sorry. Hold on, just a second. I was looking for the Facebook live stream. But oh, okay. There's that one. And they're so cute. That one. I was testing my sprinkles on the inside for this to see how they would work. There we go. So okay. You're probably going to need to cut some of the edges off because. Yes. All right. So now, my lovely mold from Daryl. I made some acne soap because Daryl's my man. He loves doing woodworking and I was like, dude, I need some soap molds. Can you see so, that soap okay on the camera, Dave? Look at this. It just yeah. slides out like butter. Woo! Better than butter. Okay. Better than better. Cammy wants to know if gun smoke smells like gunpowder. Yes. <laughs> gun soap, I mean. <laughs> no, that one is um, black tie. Is that one. Wait. Tammy was asking why guns. For Father's Day, just for they're hunters. they're super popular. Yeah. yeah. For hunters and Law policemen and, and yeah. Army, Navy, Marines, whoever. Ooh, Dave, Gene says, be sure to build a portfolio of your photos to show potential clients. Have fun with the new camera. Yep. Well, I told them they were charging 30 bucks at the soap conference to take pictures of people's soap. And I was like, man. Dave could do that, and he would charge him half that. Um, yeah, I charge you guys not very much. It'd be like $102 a pay. Wait, what? what? <laughs> no, okay. Hey, Laura Oops. Lee. Can you push down? I did send you a link to that. Push the white. Uh, oh, push the white down. Yeah. I did send you a link for that just now, but I didn't say anything except posting the link in, so sorry. <laughs> okay, so here's my acne soap. Let me grab a knife. What is that called on your Etsy store? Because Laura Lee was What's saying, what called? Uh, well, she's, she says uh, that she needs soap with her skin conditions, and she was going to go look at the store. This is the acne one here. Is that what it's called on the yeah. store? Yeah, and I have a different acne one, but it's really good, too, if you have acne. Okay, so here we go. Woo, I love my new Baltipar cutter. It makes me happy. Ah, Wendy, what days do you come on and what time so I can look for it so I can watch you guys? I think you are awesome from Youngstown, Ohio. Wendy, we come on Monday, Wednesday, Woo! and Friday at 4.30 p.m. Mountain Time. So and here's some you. more acne. I still have some in the store that's different, so this isn't going to be ready for a couple of weeks, but I still have some, still have some in the store. So don't... Oh, Jolene was asking if after you're done if you can show the unicorn cupcake again. Yes, I can. Okay, now. And then, here we go. <laughs> Woohoo! 
Oh, I'm loving this. Didn't that turn out good, guys? There's my acne bar. Yay! Hey, Dave, can you see that okay? Yes. Ooh. Okay. Loving it, loving it, loving it. I think after this batch, I'm going to start making my acne with tea tree also. These are unscented. But there you go. Okay, let me find... Where did I put the unicorns? Where did they go? Oh, here they are. Okay, so here is one little unicorn. Yep. And here is two little unicorn. Right there. Nice. Right there. Okay, so let's have final questions while we... It, did, did anybody throw flaming darts at me? Go no, ahead, but Mike. there are a few people Dave. talking about guns. If you don't Dave. like guns, yes, then just don't comment. <laughs> yeah, there's, no, there's absolutely nothing wrong with guns. There are other people that the show is for as well, and some people like some things and some people like other things. So Guns don't kill people. People you kill people. You are not. If you are being tied down and forced to watch our show, you need to call the police and tell them that you are being held down watching our show. So, Otherwise, go away. But the well the but we're not gonna the whole show's not about the whole show's not about that, so So okay. if you don't like them then it'll go away in a second. All right. <laughs> oh Mandy, do you have a is asking do you have a store? Yes, let me share it here. Yes, I have an Etsy store. And I am running out of soaps. I am working on getting it restocked again. I did just put up um I'll show you the, the two soaps that I just put up. Donna, I'm sharing the coffee recipes again. Uh, and if anyone out there can't, I'm, sh I'm sharing them, but if you don't see them and you want them, you can go to livingonadime.com and click on show notes or just search, or it's right at the top of the website right now. Yeah. So I have this rainbow I just put on. I have this rainbow I just put on. I have this lavender mint I just put on. And this pomegranate I just put on. So if you guys are needing more soap and, um... I ship them as soon as they are cured. So if you have ordered soap and it hasn't shipped yet, that means it's not done curing yet. It gives you an estimated date on when I will ship it on my, when you get your Etsy order. Um, but as they're done, I send up, put them out there. Okay, once again, here's the unicorn right there. Isn't he cute? Oh, that's so cute. Cute, cute. Stacy, what is the show about? Uh, $3,500 making soap or is soap you sell on Etsy? So the $3,500 was with reference to people buying um, ex fancy coffee every, pretty much every day, which a lot of people do. However, if you don't do the coffee, we also have uh, an article that I'm about to share about how it adds up, talking about uh, all different kinds of things that you, uh, when you add up how much people spend on it, you can cut. So there's huge amounts of stuff there. Yep. But the $3,500 is basically... If you go through a fancy coffee shop and you buy a $5 coffee every day, right? Yep. Then it's $3,500. Yep. And if you make it at home, I bet it's how much do you think a year? Oh, if you make it at home? Oh my goodness. I don't know. Um, well, let's see. But the whole beginning of the show is know. about... about. I know it ain't that. no $3,500. <laughs> there. Now I have two samples. Ah, uh, Coffee Time says Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Oh, it is. Oh, we should be celebrating Happy Mother's Day. Oh, thank you, Emery Shay. Yes, Happy Mother's Day. Um, Tara, I want you to know that I've stopped making excuses about grocery prices in Canada. Thanks for being straightforward. Well, thank you. Someone's actually listening to me. <laughs> well, the thing is, a lot of people get <coughs> upset. Uh, but the thing is that we're trying to just help people realize man sometimes some things are not as difficult as you might think or or if you're spending money on certain things it might it might be not worth it so there's all different kinds of things like that so i forgot we got mail too so can i open mail while we're answering questions yeah okay so first of all i think sherry wants me to make her some special soap because look what she sent me now they're little elves or fairies. Oh, that is cute. Fairies, probably. She sent me a fairy mold and a butterfly mold. I think I'm supposed to be making a, a butterfly and fairy soap. Thank you, Sherry. That's so cute. And then we got this, and there's no name, no address, nothing. But look, isn't that cute? This is living on a dime. Oh. Isn't that cute? Well, thank you, awesome. whoever sent that to me. 
That is so cute. Okay. Thank you, thank you. You guys are so nice. Even when I yell at them, they still love me. Oh, Mary, I'm going to have to try to remember. I can't remember how much on the lysine and the arginine. Did I say how much? I have no I can go idea. see how much I take, but... Oh, my goodness. <gasps> oh, oh, that my looks like goodness. it's going to be good. Oh, oh, my goodness. I'll check in a minute, Mary. I hope it's what's in the box. You know how you you, you put the put something else in there and then it's not what it is? It's a spark plug wrench instead of a, <laughs> whatever's on the box. <gasps> Oh, oh, I think it is. Dun, 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 dun. I think it is. Oh my goodness, so cute. Uh -oh. I can see where this is headed. <gasps> oh my goodness, who was what this is it? from? It's a light. It, who was this from? This was from Rhonda. You know what it is? Oh, yum. Okay, look what Rhonda sent me. Rhonda, you are so that nice. That is so cool. <gasps> it is a melter for wax melties. <laughs> Babe, can you tilt it down so they can see it? Oh, yes, they can see it. Oh, they can see it, okay. <laughs> so you put the little wax melts right here. That's beautiful. Oh, thank you, Rhonda <laughs> in Illinois. Oh, thank you. That is so nice. Cause you know, I have a little thing for gnomes. So, Popo Backyard Farms was the name of your Etsy shop, or Popo. Um, it's what it's living on a dime soaps, right? Yeah, but, L O D. No, it's L O A D. Oh, L O A D soap. soaps. Sorry. Because but sometimes it's hard to find. Yeah. So I'm sharing a link here, and on our Living on a Dime website. If you don't find the link here on Living on a Dime website, on the show notes page, you just click show notes. It's always on there too. So. Thank you, Rhonda. I love it. It's lovely. I just love it. Cute, cute, cute. That is darling. <laughs> Stacy is asking sense. Uh, yes, it's a sense, sensiny, sense, sensi, <gasps> sensi. Nice. Sensei. Oh. Sensi. Tammy says, "Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers." Well, thank you. You too, Tammy. Sandy loves Yeah, I the totally fairy forgot mother. about Mother's Day. Oh, by the way, if you guys need to leave some hints for the hubby and the kids we have some mother's day recipes that the kids can actually cook and um some uh yeah how to have mother's day with the kids where are you going oh somebody was asking me a question i wanted to answer okay he's just leaving i don't know um uh -oh. All right, let's see. <laughs> Dave said he's getting the divorce papers. Oh, whatever, Dave. Oh, man, it's getting ready to rain. To rain. Yay! I get to try have a new camera in the rain. So, let's see. Isn't that the cutest oh. wax melter ever? Oh, man, I can't wait. I can not just kick, kick the corner with my foot. <laughs> okay. Whew. Um... Mary was asking, how much lysine and L-arginine do I take? Oh. Well, so I mentioned in a show a while back that I had been taking um, two amino acids, L-lysine and L-arginine. I think there's information about that in our show notes. But um, maybe it isn't. I thought it was. But there was, I, there was a study where people were taking 2,000 milligrams of each in the morning and at night. But I, or was it? No, I think they gave them 1,000 milligrams in the morning and 1,000 at night. But I was already taking a little bit more of the lysine than that, so I do 2,000 of the lysine and 1,000 of the arginine. And I take it just because it seems to even out, reduce generalized anxiety for me. So, um, Believe me, you want to take it. <laughs> so um, I don't see it on the show notes page. Did I take it off? Um, but if you, I'll try to get the links back on there again, but it's L-Lysine, L-Y-S-I-N-E, and L-Arginine, A-R-G-E-N-I-N-E, I think. And you can pretty much find that at any health food store, so. Okay, um, we just received one, uh, one of, two of your bars of soap and they smell heavenly, says Sharon. Ah, thank you for ordering! Uh, oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, Mandy's asking, do I use molds for... Yeah, I use molds for my soaps. Mm-hmm. No me stays cute. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah. That. Nice. Okay, cute, so. Cute. Oh, I forgot I haven't shared links in a while. Um, okay, so don't forget to check our Diane and Dime cookbook. If you guys want to save on shipping, shipping is going up. June 1st, I'm sorry. You can thank the post office. I don't know what else to do. So just... the reason the shipping is going up is because we're... Are you sure that sending it only priority is going to get it there? No, but at least it's insured that way. See, oh, it's here's insured. the thing. Oh, you can't insure it. Yes. It's... So here's the thing. By the time I add the insurance to media mail, it's only a dollar less. Is it already insured if it's priority? Yes. Oh. So well, that's not if I add the insurance to media mail, it's only a dollar less. So I might as well just ship it priority and have you guys get it there in two to three days instead of five to ten days and do that. So I'm really sorry, but seriously, I'm about to lose my mind uh -oh. with dealing with the post destroyed. office. And most people are nice. Most people are really nice when their packages come destroyed or it doesn't show up at all or goes to a different state. Are you kidding me? Sorry, my, my inner. But um, for a dollar more, it's going to be, you know, so we have so we have to raise our prices like two dollars a package to ship them. So if you want to save that two dollars because you're super thrifty. Then there you go. So Lori was asking if we do tracking on the books. We do, but the problem is that that does, yeah. the post office will say, well, yeah, this is, uh, we'll say this is supposed to go to Mississippi, but it ended up in Alaska. And they'll say, oh, you just made a mistake. Like we have it right here where it says Mississippi, but we, I have, have, we have the tracking here where it says Alaska. And so we have the tracking, but it doesn't really help per se when the customer didn't get their thing and the post office basically doesn't really care. Yeah, they don't care. So... So if we do the priority, mm -hmm. it's insured then? Yeah. So, we, so oh, we, we send out a replacement, but... So now we'll just be hiring a person to deal with the post office and claiming all of our books. Uh, thank you, Phyllis. <laughs> I got it at Kohl's. Cheryl says, I just got my cookbook. It's killing me not to just sit down and read it cover to cover, but I have three kids and graduating... Three kids graduating college and one graduating high school in the next three weeks. You are busy, Wow. Cheryl. Well, then you need to check out how to have our cheap graduation party on our website. Type in cheap graduation party. So, Jeannie, the lysine. Actually, I was taking it for canker sores um, for over the years, periodically, and uh, it wasn't really working very much. Jill actually was telling me about it. And one day I just doubled it. <laughs> and suddenly it was helping a lot prevent them. It doesn't make them go away, but it prevents them from coming on. And I was taking that for that. And at one point when I'd upped the dosage, I thought, man, I'm feeling less stressed in general. Because <laughs> unfortunately, I have some issues with anxiety sometimes that I can't always figure out where they come from. So um, I one day was feeling pretty bad and I just Googled it to see if anyone has actually proven that. And there was a study that came up right away um, an actual medical study where they were talking about using lysine and arginine together, which is another amino acid. So I just added that one because they were using it together to see if it would work. And so far I've been having great success with that. So um, I just mentioned it at one point because somebody was saying they were struggling greatly with anxiety and that's been helping me. Yes. So, um, and Tara appreciates it. So the answer to that question is, is Mike always smiling? No. Jeannie, I don't know how much for canker sores. Jill takes, she would tell me that she takes like, what is it like? I don't know. She takes some, but whatever she took wasn't helping me. I take 4,000 a day milligrams on most days. But when if they're really bad, I'll take extra periodically like at lunch and in the afternoon and stuff like that. Basically, the, what they say, what I think I've read is that it just... It interferes with the virus replicating itself. So, Stacy, we do have all of our books in ebook form. <clears throat> um, oh, Brenda says you'll save on shipping supplies for you. Well, no, that's included. I I included the shipping supplies in that yeah, number. That's good stuff. <laughs> See, and that's instant coffee, guys. Oh, Seriously, that's instant coffee? yes. <laughs> you just have to make it the right way. Learn how to make coffee. Recipes in our book. Google it if you want to make Starbucks coffee. So Kay, did you did you do that because I recommended it, or Kay says I take two tablets of the L-lysine and two of the L-arginine. 
that's what I do. Except where we where we go, the arginine is only half as much. But if, apparently, if you take two, if you take more of the arginine than the lysine, uh, the the study said that um, it then would make you more likely to get sicker. So I don't. <laughs> It's good to take it, but not that much more. Oh, hey, Randy says Listerine, the gold one, will help your cold source. Interesting. Uh, can I purchase physical copies of your books instead of ebooks? Maureen, we have only one of them as a print book. Yeah, we have Dining it's, on a Dime is in print, but everything else is ebooks. We just do not have the space um, to. The other ones weren't selling fast on, enough yeah. for us to do them as print books and keep them in our garage. We are yeah. coming out with another one probably around the end of the year that's going to be another cookbook like this in print. Yeah. Oh, Jesse and says, haven't seen a live show in two weeks. Yay. Glad to see you guys again. We are doing our meetup July 1st in Colorado here in Mead. Go to show notes and you can find the information there. Please let us know if you're thinking on coming in the comments so that we can get a head count. We are going to Wichita to help my brother move two weeks from yesterday. So two weeks from today, our show will probably be in my brother's front yard of us all dying from moving him that day, if we're able to. Here's how um, you make dinner by getting it at Spangles. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and you know, guys, if you've waited this long, um, that's the whole point. There are times where you're going to need to go out to eat. There are times when you're going to need to just have fun and go out and have a coffee, cup of coffee. That's fine. Just to give yourself, you know, a little treat. But when you're That's doing fine. it, <laughs> but when you're doing it every day, there's a problem. And, you know, another thing I'd like to say real quick, this is going to be a whole nother show, but we had another post on the same one about how do I save on convenience foods? I spent $8 for my son on Mountain Dew sunflower seeds and some sort of water or something or another before his baseball games. And I'm like, you don't go to the convenience store, period. We never go to the convenience store to buy foods like that. We maybe do it like three times a year. We'll get one of their $5 pizzas or something. But the only thing we go to convenience stores is when they have their 79 cent sodas. And then once every 10 days or so, we'll get a treat of a slushy. But we don't go all the time. And what are you teaching your kids when you do this kind of stuff? You mean when you buy lots of crazy stuff? Well, when when you go pay $8 for food for your son before baseball, I'm sorry. He doesn't need those foods. He can pay for it if he wants to pay for it. That's ridiculous. There's absolutely no reason for that. You're teaching your kids that, oh, well, that's what I want, so that's what I get. Mountain Dew and sunflower seeds and whatever fancy water is not necessity food, necessary food. Those are extras. That's junk food. That's not necess life sustaining, necessary life sustaining food. And even going and getting the chicken nuggets or whatever, really, the recipes in Diana Don, we can do them in 15 minutes or less. Stop <sighs> making excuses. Oh. So I thought Deborah was speaking about uh, British things, but she says, you were talking about how much in dollars you save. I wonder how much in pounds. Actually, well, here I, you go. Right I realize, here. No, no, no. I realize she's not talking. I don't think she's talking about money. I think she's talking about weight. Because I did mention oh, the time. Oh, yeah. Mike did one mention that. I noticed is one day I was just feeling the urge to have a frappuccino. And I hadn't had one in ages and ages. And I went in and I there's there is a Starbucks in the grocery store near us. And I walked in there and I looked up at the sign and it said like 400 and something calories. And I thought, that's like lunch. So I, I ended up walking away. Yeah. But I was thinking, man, if you do that every day, that's a huge number of extra calories. Well, and then the same convenience store person said, oh, I went to Sam's and I bought chicken nuggets and I bought soda and I bought chips and all this junk food. Well, I want my son's friends to feel welcome at my home. What a bunch of baloney. Make up a thing of, thing of muffins for them. That's oh, 25 are, cents. Man, our kids' friends love the homemade stuff that Tara makes, and it costs like a quarter. You are still making excuses. So that's the preview for the convenience store rant that's going to come up probably next week. Because 
I tell you, they're giving me some good show Convenient material. Convenience stores, really? Yeah. Hmm. It's like a I huge thing. Convenience stores. <laughs> Uh, Stargazer no, Nights all the time. is asking which of your soaps do you recommend for dry skin? The Unscented, which I don't know if I have any left. Or, oh no, this one's really good. My Shea Butter and Goat's Milk Shampoo Bar can also be just a soap. It can be used for body and hair. And I had like seven bars left at the beginning of the show. So my Shea Butter and Goat's Milk either Beard Soap or shampoo bar both would be super super good for dry skin and are really good on skin um melissa is asking what brand of instant coffee was that it is kroger i just tar said get a cheap coffee so a cheap instant coffee <laughs> and it tastes good doesn't it it does well the way you made it it tastes good i've never had it plain um, See? oh on that lysine amy i think that's she's talking about this she says i only take one a day to help keep viruses away i think it depends on each person that it's true you may not need as much because like Jill works well for her with less. Mm -hmm. Although, again, I recommend you look online because I'm not an expert in this area. Um, but I looked online and I couldn't find anything that indicated that it was dangerous at really, there was no documentation showing any particular level that's dangerous. So I wouldn't take any more than you need. But for me, I took some and it didn't do anything. So I upped it until it did. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Uh, Babs, on the soap shipping prices. So, one to two bars is about three, three fifty. I don't know for sure. Three bars is um, three to twelve bars is seven ten. Twelve bars or more? No, three to ten bars is seven is seven fifty. Three to ten bars is seven fifty, and then ten bars or more is twelve. No, thirteen dollars, and then I can. It's thirty bars or more. I have to get your price. But Etsy does not calculate the shipping correctly, and I only charge you the correct shipping that I pay. I refund you the difference at the time of shipping. So if it seems like it's a ridiculously high than what I just quoted you, I will refund that. Um, can you give us <laughs> a? <laughs> Kelly, can you give us a heads up on the convenience store rent? Wouldn't want to miss that one. That's <laughs> so, funny. Uh, we actually had a, a few people. Jean said, uh, made your Navajo tacos last night. Big hit. Yum. Wendy. Yay. My family loves your chicken nuggets. Thank you. Some other people were talking earlier about things they were making tonight. And somebody was asking what we're doing for dinner. Do you want to, do you want to take me up on my offer? I don't know what we're doing for dinner yet because, quite frankly, I was working really hard all day trying to clear my computer of videos for my soap channel because my computer was running so slow I could hardly do anything so I had to get some videos off and on to YouTube and so I kind of like forgot about dinner well, but I did ask we're not going to go out except unless you and I go out on our date well I did ask you if you wanted to go out on a date since we sometimes do that on Fridays so we do a date either on Friday or Saturday and then I make grilled cheese or macaroni or something for the boys oh and Simply Joyful hey all of a sudden I have closed captioning how did that happen we don't know we're glad it's know. there because a lot of people have asked for it but it's funny because just the other day I was looking to find out how we could do the closed captioning because in the past they told me it'd be $200 an hour which we just can't we just can't spend that much. Um, but they said, oh, hey, YouTube said, we recommend this place. It's a dollar a minute. And I was thinking, well, that's like $90 a show. So somehow after looking it up, it just suddenly came on. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm okay with that. And I hope it's blessing you. <laughs> so. All, all right. right. Any last questions? Uh, let me take a quick look here. That Monday, is... I have no idea what we're doing for our show. I can't do the convenience one Monday. I might have another stroke. Somebody said I've had several strokes and, a, and something else during the show. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I will say, though, I have gone off milk again since Monday. And I've noticed a big difference again. But oh. how does a person live without milk? It's so tasty. Oh, Babs is wondering if you order um, yeah, more, more soaps. Oh, you, you did already? Yeah. If you order more soaps, okay. Yep. Uh, okay, we saw all that then. Let's make sure there's nothing missing over here. What's for dinner? We're probably, I'm probably going to take her out on a date, but she doesn't know that yet. Well, she sort of does. Joanne, oh. mom Ooh. wanted to yeah, tell you how much she loved, 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 loved your package she got. 
Ramona wants to know, so do you thank have you. problems shipping soap the way you do books? Yes. She was, the other well, day she was no, really... Well, no, not as bad though. Oh, the other day she was pretty upset because some soap got destroyed. Well, or, no. Or it just went away. No, that was the soap that it was oh, supposed to go... Oh, got delivered to the wrong yeah. state. It was supposed to go to Georgia and it got delivered to Illinois. And then um, I had another package go to... It was supposed to go to Minnesota and it went to Mississippi. But I ship first class and priority with the soap. And I ship media mostly with the books. And I think it's the media mail. <laughs> Your cousin Tammy says, I mean, I don't feed my son's friends anymore. Good for you. And Joanne, actually, Joanne has a good point about when people buy stuff for their... Well, she didn't say this, but I'm interpreting it to mean as opposed to when people buy fancy food for their kids' friends. She says, when my yeah. boys were younger and at home, I made their friends homemade brownies. They loved them and still remember that now. Yeah. It's funny. It's the little things that kids remember fondly mm -hmm. or when they get to be adults. Yeah. So... So two weeks from tonight, we're going to have mom and on the show, maybe. Mom may not be up to being on the show. We may not be up to being on the show. We're going to move my brother. Um, we're going to be in Wichita. I don't know if we should do a meetup or not in Wichita. We haven't had hardly anybody say if they want to meet us, and we're like... Paige wants to meet us. I know, but are we going to be up to doing it? I think actually Paige is not too far from them. Well, she's not going. far from mom. <laughs> Paige lives by my old high school. I oh, went does to she? I went to West. Hmm. Yep. They don't know they have a famous oh. person that graduated from there, do they? <laughs> no, they haven't spent anything to ask you for money yet. <laughs> I was gonna say they're trying not to. Uh, they're trying to stay as far away from me as possible. She's she has too many opinions. Uh, Lisa says dinner is leftover Navajo tacos. That sounds so awesome. Oh, I love them. I wonderful. need to make them. I just, since I'm gluten-free, it's hard to, yeah, yep. I'm sorry. I'll make some for you. Well, I think that, oh, Tracy, I made your Parmesan chicken tenders. Thank you. They were awesome. They are awesome. So anyway, we can go ahead and go. Oh, more people saying you're looking pretty today. <laughs> oh, Cheeky Saver, Tara's looking too pretty today to not go on a date. <laughs> oh, that's true. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe I should bring a camera and start taking pictures uh, oh, Margaret, Tara, can you get the A2 milk that's supposed to work for people intolerant? I was going to try that, actually. I, I can't find thing. it here yet. Uh, our friends have an A2 ca cow, but I really didn't want to drink raw milk with a with my immune system being out of whack. What is an A2 cow? What is A2? Well, so there's cows that are A1 or A2, and they've discovered that the A2... Just a genetic thing? Yeah, it's a genetic oh. thing. And it's cows, and I think how they discovered it, I'm not positive on this. If I'm wrong, don't send me an email. I think, I can't remember. It's been a while since I read about it. But I think what it was, was they discovered people would come from different places and they weren't, they were getting sick on the milk or vice versa. And then they discovered it was a different cow, and now they discovered it's a genetic thing where it, if you have lactose intolerance and that kind of thing, it doesn't bother you. Wow. But I definitely try that. My problem isn't the lactose. My problem is the casein or however you say it. Mine is the protein. Oh. And I should know all four of my kids had to go on soy formula. All four of them. So I should have known. It shouldn't have taken me 20 years to figure this out. And I quite frankly I'm still in denial. I love cheese. Oh, you're missing your tea, aren't you? And I'm missing my tea, and now I get have tea, and I get have milk, and I'm gonna cry. She's having trouble with no tea here. Let me get you some lysine. <laughs> wow. So I'm off tea, I'm off milk, I'm off gluten, and next week I'm going off sugar. But I went and got a massage yesterday because I have fibromyalgia and I need it. <clears throat> Otherwise, I can't function. And my massage, my pain was down like 75%. Seriously. Wow. I almost fell asleep on the massage table for the first time because I wasn't like gritting my teeth through the whole thing. I love the cinnamon. Which coffee was this again? The Cafe Vienna. Maybe I should share the link for that page again. Um, so I'm sharing the coffee recipes again. I know it's the milk. I'm going to go off sugar next week and see if I can get some of it kicked a even more, but it just makes me sad. Yeah. You know what makes me sad? <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Go ahead, go ahead. 
<laughs> oh, actually, if go ahead. What was what is it called? Um, Dude. Was it a Geico commercial? Yeah. It was for, um, was does, a, does a drill sergeant make a good therapist? You should go yeah. to YouTube and look that up. Yeah. And you'll get it. Yes, Amy is right. If you purchase the ebook, you may print it out for your own personal use. You may not sell it, but you may She's, print it out for your own personal use. She says use. you can get them in printed bound at a print shop pretty cheaply. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we used to have more of them in print, but they just weren't selling fast enough for us to justify it taking up our entire garage. And we're trying to get them on Amazon, but we have to get the other two books done first before we can do those because we have a deadline of January for those, well, actually December for those well, two. Well, we're even shooting for sooner than that if we can. We have to have them done by September if we want to have them to sell before Christmas. And I don't know if we're going to get it done. But yeah, if you buy ebooks, you can print them or use them on any of your device, all of your devices. That's fine. We just, just... do not redistribute. Yeah. 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 And we actually had, we actually had someone post one online and people were trying to promote that you could get a free copy of it here. Well, it's stealing people. It, it's stealing. But the other thing is not only is it stealing, but I, I just went and Followed the link to check it all out, and it turns out it's a scam site that would compromise your computer. <laughs> so, when people offer things free that aren't really free, a lot of times it leads to you having computer problems. And but anyway, it's just not right. So, um, can I read Rhonda's So card? if you get it, you can use it for yourself all day long, no problem, on any devices you have. And but if you sell it, we're gonna come after you. Yes, we will. And you saw the show earlier. I will do it. <laughs> So that is a beautiful card. Isn't that cute? I mean, it's seen the inside yet, but it's, oh, I love the colors. It says, Tara, you have helped me in so many ways. You are a great person. I love all your family. You all are real and so caring and kind. I have wanted to, ha <clears throat> to have this as a housewarming gift. I know it's early, but I couldn't wait. Hugs to the family, Rhonda. Thank you, Rhonda. Thank this, you. Oh, this, this, so this came so with for our own. new house. Oh, that is that wonderful. That we don't have. We were just talking about moving today. We were like, okay, we feel like we're supposed to be moving. We still don't have any idea where. Though, we have so no idea where. We're just waiting for an answer. We're waiting for God to direct us where we're supposed. We even took a full pick. Oh, I wish we would have taken a picture. A oh, we should A full pickup load to the dump. Free dump day today. Free dump day. A full pickup heaping over to the dump today. And oh, oh, can I show them? Hold on. Okay, we got to go because I'm pooped. But hold on. Talk for just a minute. I got to I'm so, so Lynn doesn't like McDonald's coffee. She says, make your own people. You know, I found, I found if you need to buy it out somewhere and you buy it like at McDonald's, I found if, as much as I hate the drive-thru, I will go through the drive-thru it, because it's busier in the drive-thru and they actually make it more frequently. Oh okay, <laughs> so then I got inspired on moving. Whoa, is that this stuff you're getting rid of? is three shelves in my closet three shelves wow one tiny drawer and my hanging stuff that's it only three shelves i haven't even gone this is all my clothes and stuff that i got rid of haven't even gone through my shit wow can you guys give me a thumbs up <laughs> you know what's funny is I like to get into getting rid of things mode, and it's just gotten to the point where we have so little left. It's hard to get rid of stuff, left. I know. But I got rid of it. Did you see that? Are they giving me any thumbs up? Am I getting any thumbs ups? I'm waiting. Oh, oh there's some. <gasps> yes. 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 Woo. Oh. Did I do good? Yep. We were looking at YouTube at that moment, so we couldn't see. Oh, and hearts, too. I'm going to the thrift store tomorrow, and I was like, I am getting rid of at least my stuff. So... <laughs> All right, Yay. so before I pass out, because I feel like I'm going to have a stroke. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much Thank for hanging out for with watching. us today. We really appreciate you. And Please visit us at livingonadime.com. Please like, subscribe, and share. And if you're still speaking to me, hey, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you and guys. And if you're new around here, you have to watch a little to understand where she's really coming from. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you on Monday. No happy idea Mother's what I'm Day, making. All happy the moms out oh, there. Oh, thank you. And happy Mother's Day to my, my my special, lovely wife, the mother of all my kids. I want a steak for Mother's Day. You do? I don't want to go out to eat. I just want a steak at home. At home? Maybe now, I'll have see, to... that's frugal, isn't it? Maybe I'll have to think back to my restaurant days when I used to make Ooh, steaks. Ooh, steak and coleslaw. That sounds good. I know this great cookbook called Dining on a Dime that has a coleslaw recipe you can make. Ooh, Ooh. nice. 
There you go. That sounds really good. Yeah. Yum. All right, guys. Have a good night. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you for watching us. We will see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye, everyone. Amy says I'm. Amy T says I'm still your friend. Thank you, Amy. Bye. <laughs> Ready now? Yep. Bye. Good night, Bye. everyone. Bye. Stop. Stop.